chapter 2, Mishnah 5. This Mishnah will discuss the remaining korbanos that are kod, kodshe kodashim. Such korbanos are considered the holies of Hashem, as soon as they are consecrated, and are thus subject to me'ila from that point. This Mishnah discusses three types of animal korbanos, the chatas, asham, and communal shalamin. The chatas is always obligatory. It can be either communal, such as those brought as part of the Musaf offerings, or private, such as the chatas brought for mistakenly transgressing a prohibition that is subject to karas. The asham is always an obligatory personal korban. There are six situations in which an asham is brought. They are listed in Zivachim chapter 5, Mishnah 5. There is only one type of communal shalamim, the two lambs of Shavuos, which accompany the Shtei Alechem, two loaves, brought on Shavuos. See next Mishnah. Unlike the shalamim brought by individuals, which are kodashim kelim, whose meat can be eaten even by non kohanim the communal shalamim are kodshe kodashim. Thus, like the chatas and asham, they may be eaten only by male kohanim in the courtyard of the Beis HaMikdash. We now turn to the words of the Mishnah. The animal chatas, the asham, and communal shalamim offerings are subject to me'ila from when they are consecrated. Once they are slaughtered, they receive a higher level of sanctity and become capable of being disqualified through contact with the Tevil Yom or a Mechusa Kippur, or through their blood remaining past their time and not being thrown on the Mizbeach before nightfall. After their blood is thrown on the Mizbeach, one can become liable to Karas for the transgression of Pigel Nosar or Tame by eating their meat in a situation where one of those laws applies. And at that time, the meat is no longer subject to Meila since Zerika permits the meat to the Kohanim. Thus, they are no longer the holies of Hashem, and Me'ila does not apply to them. But their Emurin are still subject to Me'ila, until after being burned to ashes on the Mizbeach, they go out to the place of the ashes outside of Jerusalem. Since Emurin do not become permitted to the Kohanim, and must be burned on the Mizbeach, they remain the holies of Hashem. Therefore, they continue to be subject to Me'ila until the mitzvah of burning them, as well as any mitzvah related to their ashes, i.e. taking their ashes to the place of the ashes, are completed.